Today we are covering IPv4 network addresses and subnetting. Addresses like google.com are actually converted into a numeric address where computers can understand. But even further than going from 192.168.10.10, it actually converts into binary and then eventually it is just a bunch of ones and zeros that represents not only this address, but this address as well. Companies are assigned a network address like 192.168.1.0 and it'll have a slash 24 at the end or some number like that representing how many hosts it can, the company can have. So in this situation, you can have hosts one, I'm sorry, zero through 255. More on that later. So within these, this range of hosts, you have different kinds of addresses. You have a network address, you have a range where you can use as hosts and you can assign to your devices, and then you have a broadcast address. The very first address would be the network address, and you can see it here, network address, and the very first one of zero through 255 is zero. The very last address is the broadcast address, so at the end of this range is 255. So that would be the broadcast address here. Then we have the range of valid hosts that we can assign to our devices, and basically this would be the very first host and that would be the very last host. So you actually have from one through 254 to assign to different hosts or devices that you have. So basically you have an entire range of zero through 255 with the network address and the broadcast address and everything in between there would be the host, which is 1 through 254. Okay, and basically then another thing that's very important when it comes to subnetting is that you need to know the prefix length and the subnet mask. The prefix, prefix length is actually that slash 24 that you see at the end. I will describe a little bit more about that later. Okay, and Subnet mask basically tells you what bits are part of the network and which ones are used for the hosts, and more on that later. So again, a network administrator or a company will be assigned an address range. This is 192.168.1.0 and it's a slash 24. And actually that means that you have 256 addresses total. Now, what do we need to do with these addresses? Well, uh, in your company, you're gonna have, you're gonna have an IT department with technicians, computer technicians and networking technicians. You're gonna have an HR department. And let's just say it's the college. So we have some students and some faculty. Okay, so basically you need to divide the addresses that you have here into uh, different areas or different ranges. Now I want to step back a minute here because I want to explain what this slash 24 means. That is called a bit prefix. Now this bit prefix tells you what part of this address is network and which part would be assigned to hosts. And this slash 24, how do we get slash 24? Well, slash 24 is as many ones in this, um, in this address here, or in this address. So how many ones? Well, remember that this is an octet, so that's eight ones. This is another octet, so that's another eight ones for a total of 16. 
And then you have another octet with all ones, which is a total of 24. So that's how we know that we can put a slash 24 here. Now let's say, now we have all of these as zeros, so we definitely know that this is a slash 24. But let's say in this range, that very first bit, instead of having a zero, it has a one. Well, then that would make it into a slash 25. But more on that later. Another thing that this slash 24 tells you is generally, um, it might change, but more likely if you're only working on this last octet, like you have smaller numbers here, that it is likely that all of these will stay the same. Unless of course you use more than 256, which will actually increment this to two. But we won't go there now. Okay, so let's start subnetting a bit. The very first step in subnetting is that you have to put your hosts in order from most to least. The student has 100, so that's the most. Then faculty has 20, so that's second most. And then we have 10 and then two for HR. So now they're in order from most to least. Okay, now that you've put them in order from most to least, then we wanna determine which uh, bit prefix we're gonna be using. So to do that, you will first do your progression of numbers like we did when you converted from binary to decimal and decimal to binary. One, two, four, eight, remember you're always doubling it. One, two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, and 128. After doing that, then you write down the last octet of bit prefixes since we're working in only this last octet here. Now, this is only when you're looking, looking at this last octet. This could be a slash 16, and if it was a slash 16, that means that you'd be working in these two octets. But don't worry about that for now. We're only working on this last octet. So here's a slash 24. That means that all of these are zero at the end. All of these are zero, so it's a slash 24, but you don't always want to use a slash 24 because when you use a slash 24, you have 256 addresses. So remember that it's zero through 255. And of course, zero is a number. Okay, so that's a lot of addresses, and we could use all of those as 24, and that would be class full subnetting, but we actually want to use VLSM, which is Variable Length Subnetting Mask, or CIDR. And it's also called classless as well. So, what do we do when we don't want to use, we actually don't want to waste a bunch of addresses because we only need 100. We don't need all 255 or 256. We want to subnet. We want to make smaller networks or smaller ranges to what would fit with what we need. So you see that students, we only needed 100 so if we used a slash 25, we have 128 to work with, and that's all we need. Now, what about faculty? We only need 20. Do we want to use a slash 25? Well, that's way too much. What about a slash 26? That's 64. That's better. But what about a slash 27? It will fit in 32. So that looks better. And if we looked at a slash 28, that's not enough. So we definitely can't use a slash 28. Okay, and then what about your 10 hosts in IT? Well, eight is too low, so we can actually use a slash 28. 
for IT. HR, we only need two. Now, this can be distracting because it says two and one, but we cannot have networks with just two or one because we need the network and the broadcast address. Remember earlier, I mentioned that we have a range, but the first one is saved for the network. The last one is saved as the broadcast and everything in between you can use as hosts. So we always want to add two with what we know we need. So in this situation, HR, we need to add the network in the broadcast. So we're actually going to use a slash. Uh, slash 30 because it has four. I also put dashes here because I really want to point out that we will never use a slash 31 or slash 32 in subnetting, but you will see slash 32 when you get to a routing table, but that's in the future. So now that we know that we have, we can use our progression of numbers here are doubling numbers for number of devices. And then we have the bit prefix uh, concerning how many bits are in the network address. Well, we also know now what the mask would be. The bit prefix tells you what the mask would be. So basically, you start with 128 and then you it, because there's a one bit there. Remember I mentioned earlier, all of this with zero is a slash 24. But if it's a slash 25, you have a one in that first position. Well, if you have a one in that first position, just like in this uh, progression here, it is 128. So you just put 128 as the mask. Well, uh, when you're using a slash 26, you have two bits here. So you have one, one, zero, 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 zero. So it's this one's on, this one's on. So both of those together becomes 192. Again, if you have, you add another one, so there's three ones and five zeros, then that means you have this bit, you have 128, 64, and 32 on. So that is a total of 224. And you just keep on increasing. And a good way to remember this is that if you add 128 plus 64, you get 192. 192 plus 32 is 224. 224 plus 16 is 240. 240 plus 8 is 248, plus 4 is 252, plus 2, 254, plus 1 is 255. Here's a chart that further explains the bits that are on. So remember that this is the last octet. We have four octets, so that means that we have before 125 or slash 25, we have 24 ones, and this is the last octet here because there are 32 bits in a network address. And let's just go ahead and look at that again, real quick. Remember, 192 is 8 bits, 168 is 8 bits, 10 is 8 bits, and 10 is 8 bits. So these are the four octets, and when you're doing a slash 24, all of these, all of these are the network address, and only this last octet from slash 25 to slash 32 is the host portion. 